Well, good morning. It is 6 o'clock a.m. here. I um, <clears throat> wanted to do a video or two quickly before we head to the office today. The sun's just starting to come up over this way. But I uh, want to make an interesting observation from the Old Testament about modern Christianity. Let me define what modern Christianity is. Modern Christi Christianity, excuse me, is this belief that the way Christians served the Lord for hundreds of years, the hymns that we've sung, whatever else, is now no longer any good, and we have to modernize it and update it so we can have a perfect blending of Christian concepts from the Bible and worldliness. We can act like the lost world, look like the lost world, listen to their music, make our own form of their music. That's what modern Christianity is, and the Bible actually warns about that people would depart from the faith. Uh, in the end times. So we really know what modern Christian, Christianity is about. It's a lie. It's worldly people, lost people, that inhabit these church buildings, and they hate the Bible. But uh, a very interesting thing here in the Old Testament, the book of 2 Kings, chapter 17, let's begin in verse 33, and look at this. They feared the Lord and served their own gods. You say, how's that possible? Well, it's a profession. I profess that I fear God, but yet I'm going to serve my own gods. Mm -hmm. You see, modern Christians all have one thing in common. Modern Christians will pretend that they fear the Lord. They'll pretend that they are saved, and yet they'll serve other gods like mammon. They'll serve other gods of the Vatican. They'll use new versions that come from the Vatican and just be blissfully unaware of it. I prefer the ESV. I prefer the NIV. Where did they come from? Why is it that this King James Bible that was around since 1611, all of a sudden it's no good anymore? We have to have a new version. We have to, it's just, we can't understand it anymore. I can understand it. If you're a viewer of this ministry and you're born again, you can understand it. But you see what they do? They say that they fear God, but in reality, they're serving other gods. They feared the Lord and served their own gods after the manner of the nations whom they carried away from thence. See, they want to be worldly. They want to be like other people out there. It's amazing. But notice too, uh, by the way, let me say this. A lot of these people, the Jesus that they like to talk about has no basis in Scripture. The Jesus that they believe in, uh, he doesn't judge people. He's okay with other people's sins and whatever else. See, um, they're serving another God, a God of their own, their own gods, the God of their own choosing, a God of their own uh, design. Verse 34, unto this day they do after the former manners, they fear not the Lord. So see, it corrects it. Up there it says, verse 33, they feared the Lord. Down here it says, they fear not the Lord. See, that's the reality of it. They can claim that they fear God, but the reality is they don't. They don't care about standards of dress. They don't care about textual criticism understanding that this King James Bible is based on 99%, over 99% of extant Greek manuscripts, ones that we know we have been collated, looked at, and whatever else. The vast majority of Greek manuscripts line up with the received text that underlies the King James Bible. The two oldest and best manuscripts that you hear about in these new versions, Vaticanus and Sinaiticus, they come from the Vatican, used by the Vatican. And you have new versions based on the same thing. And the Second Vatican Council in the 1960s uh, claimed that they were going to make translations with separated brethren. And it's exactly what they did. You study it. There's Catholics involved in these different translations. The Nessel's text uh, was partly done with uh, one of the men on the, trans or the committee of the Nessel's text was Cardinal Carlo Maria Martini, a Jesuit cardinal. You have Kurt Aland, uh, was Nessel Aland, you know. Kurt Alon, there's pictures of him meeting with the Pope. But why does that matter if you're a modern Christian? It doesn't matter. Who cares? Don't make such a big deal. This is divisive and everything else. <laughs> yeah, the truth is divisive. Um, they fear not the Lord, verse 34, neither do they after their statutes or after their ordinances or after the law and commandment which the Lord commanded the children of Jacob, whom he named Israel with whom the Lord had made a covenant and charged them, saying, Ye shall not fear other gods, nor bow yourselves to them, nor serve them, nor sacrifice to them. But the Lord, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt with great power and a stretched out arm, him shall ye fear, and him shall ye worship, and to him shall ye do sacrifice. 
and the statutes and the ordinances and the law and the commandment which he wrote for you, ye shall observe to do forevermore, and ye shall not fear other gods. You see, that's, that's the whole thing. It's so funny about modern Christianity. You know what it really is? They fear other gods. They fear other systems out there. I don't want to offend other people, and I don't want to look like some kind of crazy kook, you know? I want to blend in. I want to be liked on social media. I want to be liked out there in the world. They fear other gods. I don't fear other gods. I hate the other gods. I only love the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 38, And the covenant that I have made with you ye shall not forget, neither shall ye fear other gods, but the Lord your God <clears throat> ye shall fear, and he shall deliver you out of the hand of all your enemies. You know what's going to happen in the future in America? There's going to be a lot of people that perish. A lot of them. And a lot of them are going to be church people. Why? Because God's not going to deliver them. They're not even using his word. They don't even believe in the Bible. Even, the, you know, that's the funny thing too. Oh, <clears throat> this King James Bible is no good anymore. It needs to be updated. Um, okay, now that you've updated it, do you believe that that's God's perfect word? No, no. We can just update Bibles as we feel the need to update Bibles and we'll update another one and we'll update another one. Um, and are you eventually going to have a perfect Bible? No, no. No Bible can be perfect. Only the original autographs. Where are they at? Oh, well, I think that they might have gone up to heaven or something. <laughs> it's, it's insanity. People claiming to be Christians, and yet they're denying the perfection of the very book that tells you how to be a Christian. Verse 40. <clears throat> Howbeit they did not hearken, but they did after their former manner. Mm -hmm. Oh, I had this experience. I went to this church and they had this revival meeting or whatever and I put my hands up and, oh, and, I, and the music, you know, and everything and I got caught up in the motion and, and I prayed a prayer or I believed or I did whatever thing like this. And <clears throat> Did your life change? No, um, <clears throat> they did after their former manner. Come to Jesus and right back to the world again. Oh, the, not the real Jesus of the Bible. You know, the fake Jesus of the modern church. Yeah. Verse 41. So these nations feared the Lord and served their graven images, both their children and their children's children, as did their fathers, so do they unto this day. Yeah. You know, and in context, it's talking about the nation of Israel. And the nation of Israel is very wicked. Extremely wicked. Those people you talk about not believing the Bible... <laughs> Obviously, they don't believe the New Testament, but they don't even believe the Old Testament. They come up with all these names and things for God that have no basis in Scripture and uh, all these practices and whatever else. They, you know, modern-day Jews are just basically papists is all that they are. They don't worship the Pope per, per se or bow their knee to him unless they want financial blessings. Um, but, uh, you know, modern-day Jews, that just works for salvation that's all it is we'll be good and eventually we can be resurrected if our son prays us out of you know purgatory or no it wouldn't be purgatory it'd be the grave or something like this and point us towards israel so we can go there someday if we get resurrected or work salvation that's all that it is but um the things that are written aforetime back in the old testament are written for our learning so you can look back to the old testament and you can learn about uh truth that it was happening in the past and it's still happening today. There's always been people that want to serve God and have the friendship of the world. That's always been there and it always will be. And so, uh, real quick te test that you can do. Luther, come. He's heading out towards the road. I don't want him out towards the road. Good boy. Um. <clears throat> But the uh, real quick test that you can do to see if you're legitimate, to see if you're in a good movement, um, get, don't sniff at that. Um, but uh, one thing that you can do to see if you are right with God, if you're in the right movement, um, if you could get in a time machine and uh, go back in time 200 years, would you fit in with the Christians back then? You get in that same time machine, you turn it back to 500 years. 1,000 years, 1,700 years, first century. Would you get along with the people all through those different time periods? And if you can't answer yes to that, then uh, you're not saved. 
you're part of a false system, one that claims to fear God and yet serves their own gods. Better make sure that you're part of the true body of Christ. Um, understand the most important thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you're right with the book. You can claim, I'm right with Jesus Christ, I believe in Jesus, but if you believe in Jesus, a Jesus out there, and yet you don't line up with the Bible, the King James Bible for the English speaking people, you don't line up here, then your relationship with Jesus Christ is false, completely, totally false. I can promise you that. So uh, get right with God, there's not much time left, okay? Um, this nation's headed for very serious judgment, and it's going to be, you know, as the modern people say, epic. <laughs> okay, uh, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.